Okay, start the clock. There goes your smoke detector. It didn't take very long. The fire is now grown to the trash can that's next to the recliner. We have 100 degrees at the ceiling temperature already, and that's only been, what, 25 seconds. It's already raised 50 degrees. The fire is now attacking the recliner. We have 150 at the ceiling. You can start to seeing the smoke grow from this fire. The layer is at about right here right now. Two hundred at the ceiling, floor is still at fifty degrees. You can see the black smoke now growing down. The hot layer is making its way down into the cold zone. We're at one minute, and this is how big the fire is already at. Two eighty degrees. Two hundred and eighty degrees. You should definitely be out of the building at this point. If not, you're in trouble. Floor is still at fifty. The chair right now is almost completely engulfed. We're at 300 degrees in the ceiling. We're at 1 minute and 30 seconds. This thing moves fast. 400 degrees in the ceiling. 500. Within 5 seconds you've raised 100 degrees. The smoke detector is starting to melt and the batteries and the circuits are all going off. There goes the smoke detector. It's completely melted. 910 degrees on the ceiling. We're at two minutes and it's almost a thousand degrees. 1200 degrees. You can see the heat and the flames going through the room now. The radiation is causing everything on the floor to heat up. Once that floor heats up to its ignition temperature, it will ignite. 1600 degrees at the ceiling. We're at 2 minutes and 30 seconds, and we're already at 1,700 degrees in the room. The daddy's still holding the strong Nope, as I said. Floor just flashed over it. How, how hot? 950 degrees on the floor, and the floor just flashed over. 1,300 degrees at the floor. It's only been 3 minutes and 15 seconds. Wow. Kill it. What's happening here is the water is cooling down the fuel packages, and the steam is getting all the air out of the room. While those guys put it out, we're going to set this other cell to my right, which is the sprinkler room, and you will see the significant difference in how the fire grows and behaves between having a sprinkler in the room and not.